This car is world unique in the sense that it can actually find uh, pedestrians uh, and if a collision is imminent it will warn the driver. If the driver does not take uh, any response to that warning the car will actually brake automatically trying to avoid the collision. Imagine yourself in a typical big city environment. Uh, there's lots of pedestrians on the streets, it's narrow, it's maybe hard to find your way, you're looking for road signs. It's so easy to be distracted. And in these situations, you can say that the car actually helps you keep an eye out for pedestrians and other cars. And it will actually give you a warning if a collision is imminent. And if you do not respond to that warning, then the car will actually brake uh, by itself automatically trying to avoid the collision or reduce the speed of impact. The technology that we use in this car is an advanced radar that is mounted in the grill here. And this radar can monitor very far in front of the car but also in front and at the side of the road. Pedestrians usually appear from the side. Then we have a camera that is mounted in the windscreen that actually identify if it's a human being. We've trained the camera to recognize the typical shapes of a human being, legs, arms, the head shapes. And with this information, <coughs> the car can sense if a collision is imminent, issue a warning, and if the driver does not respond to this warning, the car will brake automatically down to a full stop. Looking at the pure statistics on the number of fatalities and the number of injured around the globe that are pedestrians, uh, I think this kind of technology will have a significant impact. If you take Europe as an example, about uh, 40,000 people are killed in road traffic accidents in Europe every year. About six, 7,000 of those are pedestrians. So obviously it is a problem that we need to address, working seriously with safety. And uh, due to pure physics, uh, People are soft, cars are hard, uh, so the best way really to address this issue, we believe, is to try to avoid these type of collisions. And it's also very much in line with our future vision of, of, of a crash-free future. <laughs>